Entanglement is not a thing which is either um, yes or no. It's, there's a magnitude of entanglement. The magnitude is called, it's called the entanglement entropy, but it's basically a measure of how many entangled pairs are shared between the two sides. All right? If you took one entangled pair and dropped it into here and into here, then yes, you would make a very, very primitive Einstein-Rosen bridge for which there is no particular meaning other than the fact that they're entangled, but you could draw it by saying there's a very simple primitive Planck scale, tiny, tiny microscopic bridge between them. And, um, but I assure you, nobody is going to jump into, uh, into there and meet at the center. So you can ask how many do you have, well, you can ask how many do you actually have to um, assemble before you can make something big enough that people could meet at the center? And the answer is this, that the number of entangled pairs manifests itself in the area, in the minimal area of the, um, of the bridge. So if you want to make a thing with an area that's big enough for you to fit into, you have to have started with enough entangled pairs that, uh, that you'll make a big enough area. Uh, something like, uh, let's see, I think 10 to the 76 of them, uh, 10 to the 72 of them in order for you to fit in through the bridge.